Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do more summons for y'all for January the 14th, 2024. Sorry, I'm late, really. I've been spending my day with the most high. Um, y'all should know who these people are, and if I have to stop, I will. And we will be reading Matthew chapter 48 in the New Testament. And I got these summons from watching the show, The Wire. After this ad go away. I'm gonna begin. For the kingdom of heaven is like a man who was the master of a household, who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. When he had agreed with the laborers for the nearest a day, he sent them into his vineyard. He went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace. He said to them, You also go into the vineyard, and whatever is right I will give you. So they went their way. Again, he went out about the sixth in the ninth hour, and did likewise. About the eleventh hour, he went out and found others standing idle. He said to them, Why do you stand here all day idle? They said to him, Because no one had hired us, has hired us. He said to them, You also go into the vineyard, and you will receive whatever is right. When evening have come, the Lord of the vine Lord said to his manager, Call the laborers and pay them their wages, beginning from the last to the first. When those who was hired at about the eleventh hour came, they each received a denarius. When they first came, they supposed that they would receive more, and they likewise each received a denarius. When they received it, they murmured against the master of the household, saying, These lads have spent in one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who have borne the burden of the day in the scorching heat. But he answered once of them, one of them, Friend, I am doing you no wrong. Didn't you agree with me for a denarius? Take that which is yours and go your way. It is my desire to give to give to this last just that much as to you. Isn't it lawful for me to do what I want to with what I own? Or is your evil eye because or is your eye evil because I am good? So the last will be first and the first last. For many are called, but few are chosen. As Yeshua was going up to Jerusalem, he took the frail disciples aside, and on the way he said to them, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be delivered to the chief priests and scribes, and they will condemn him to death, and will hand him over to the Gentiles to mock, to scourge, and to crucify. And the third day he will be raised up. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came to him with her sons, kneeling and asking a certain thing of him. He said to her, What do you want? She said to him, Command that these my two sons may sit one on your right hand and one on your left hand in your kingdom. But Yeshua answered, You don't know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I am about to drink and be immersed with the emotion that I am immersed with? They said to him, We are able. He said to them, You will indeed drink my cup and be, and be immersed with the emotions that I am immersed with. But to sit on my right hand and on my left hand is not mine to give, but it is for whom who have been prepared by my Father. When the ten heard it, they were indigent with the two brothers. But Yeshua summoned them and said, You know that the rulers of the nations 
Lord is over them, and the great ones exercise authority over them. It shall not be so among you, but whoever desires to become great among you shall be your servant. Whoever desires to be first among you shall be your bond servant. Even as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. As they went out from Jericho, a great multitude followed him. Behold, two blind men sitting by the road. When they heard that Yeshua was passing by, cried out, Lord, have mercy on us, you son of David. The multitude rebuked them, telling them that they should be quiet. But they cried out, they cried out even more, Lord, have mercy on us, you son of David. Yeshua stood still and called them and asked, What do you want me to do for you? They told him, Lord, that our eyes may be open. Yeshua, being moved with compassion, touched their eyes, and immediately their eyes received their sights, and they followed him. Okay, that Matthew chapter 3, enjoy.